Hi guys, in this video we're looking at experimental validity. We're firstly going to define validity and then talk about how we can achieve validity uh, using controlled variables, not oversimplifying our variables and questioning our assumptions. So first to define validity. So validity is something that is inherent to the design of your experiment. And a valid experiment is one that tests the relationship that is set out in your aim. So your aim should uh, identify the relationship that you're looking at testing. Your experiment and the way you design your experiment should then test that aim. So we need to be asking ourselves, does your experiment test your aim? And there's a few ways that we can make sure that our experiment does a good job at testing our aim. The first one is by using controlled variables. So you should only be testing two variables changing your independent and measuring your dependent. All other variables in your experiment, so all other things that could change, should stay the same. If these things don't stay the same, they're going to interfere with your data that you're collecting on your dependent variable, and they're going to be turning up as what we call confounding variables. So these are variables that you haven't controlled that are going to basically make your results not uh, representative of the independent variable that you set out to test in your aim. So we need to ask ourselves, are we testing the variables we set out to test and have we controlled all the other variables? So providing that we're testing those uh, things that we want to test and we've controlled the other things that we don't want to test, uh, our experiment should be valid. Now, when we're working out whether we're testing the variables that we want to test, it's easy to oversimplify an experiment, particularly where the thing that we want to test is a tricky concept. Um, so we can't test it directly, and therefore we have to test it through using another variable. And this variable is called the proxy. It's a variable that we test uh, instead of the thing that we're actually setting out to test. Uh, because we're running on the assumption that uh, that thing we're setting out to test directly relates to the proxy. So an example here would be if you're trying to test uh, the effect of something on thirst, maybe exercise on thirst. Now it's hard to test thirst and what that means for different people. So we could use a proxy here of, um, I would give say a Gatorade to each person and then I record how much they drink. So this is a proxy variable. I'm looking at volume of Gatorade uh, instead of thirst. The problem is whether this proxy is a fair uh, or a direct representation of that variable that I'm actually setting out to test. Because uh, there, there's other factors that could come into it, whether uh, somebody's going to drink that Gatorade. Uh, maybe they don't like Gatorade. Maybe they're on, a sugar kick at the moment. Maybe it's just not the flavour that they like. So all these things are going to affect how much Gatorade they drink, causing it to uh, have extra factors in there that are going to affect that variable that we're actually trying to test in the first place. So in this case, I've oversimplified my variables uh, so that I can um, test them. And when we're oversimplifying, what comes in here is our assumptions. Now, an assumption is something that we hold to be true, so we think is true in our brain. Uh, however, there's no empirical evidence, so nothing that you can actually test to show that that is true. Um, so in that uh, example I just said, the assumption is that if somebody is thirsty, they'll drink the Gatorade. But that's not necessarily true. Maybe if I'm thirsty, I'll drink Gatorade. Uh, but maybe if somebody else is thirsty, they know that uh, drinking water actually quenches their thirst better. Uh, so this is an assumption uh, from my personal experience that I am then projecting onto others, which could cause my experiment to be invalid. In this video, we've talked about validity, being that how appropriately our experiments tests the aim that we set out to test. We achieve this through making sure that we have one independent variable, one dependent variable, and that we control all our other variables so they don't become confounding variables. We need to make sure that we haven't oversimplified our variables uh, by using a proxy. And you can use a proxy, but not 
uh, you need to question that proxy and whether it's an appropriate proxy. And when we question that proxy, we need to think about our own assumptions uh, and whether those assumptions are something that is actually true or something that we just hold to be true. And if we're able to address all of these factors, uh, we can say that we have a valid experiment. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.